Image 1. Unveiling the Shapes of Ancient Galaxies Through the lens of the James Webb Space Telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope has turned its gaze to a specific slice of the cosmos known as the Sears Survey, situated within the extended growth strip in the constellation of Boots. This deep field survey has unlocked a visual treasure trove of galaxies that light up the dark, stretching back to an era when the universe was just 600 million to 6 billion years old. Imagine, these celestial bodies were forming and evolving when the universe was in its infancy, offering us a unique glimpse into cosmic history. Led by Viraj Pandya, a NASA Hubble Fellow at Columbia University, a fascinating study of this celestial field has brought to light the diverse shapes and sizes of distant galaxies. Have you ever wondered what shapes galaxies can take? The findings from this survey reveal a universe more varied and intriguing than one might initially think. At the forefront of these discoveries are galaxies that resemble elongated objects we're familiar with on Earth, such as pool noodles or surfboards. These galaxies, found primarily along the top row of the survey's images, stretch out across the cosmos, their slender forms telling stories of the forces that sculpted them over billions of years. Following these, we encounter galaxies that might remind you of a frisbee, thin, circular, and flat. These disk-like galaxies, visible on the bottom left and center of the survey images, are a testament to the swirling dances of stars and cosmic material that gather and flatten due to gravity's pull. Then, there are the spherical galaxies, akin to volleyballs, which constitute the smallest group detected in this study. These round celestial bodies, spotted on the bottom right, challenge our imaginations to consider the processes that lead to such compact and symmetrical formations in the fabric of space. Each of these galaxies serves as a cosmic time capsule, preserving the secrets of their formation and evolution from a time when the universe was dramatically younger. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its unparalleled vision, has allowed us to peer into these distant epochs, offering insights into the early chapters of the universe's story. So, as we delve into the findings of the Sears survey through the eyes of the web, we're not just observing distant galaxies. We're witnessing the varied architectural wonders of the universe, each with its unique shape, history, and story to tell. Isn't it fascinating to think about how these ancient lights, from elongated surfboards to spherical volleyballs, have journeyed across time and space to reach us? What stories do they hold? And what further secrets will the James Webb Space Telescope unveil as it continues to explore the depths of the cosmos? Image number two, the mysteries of spiral galaxy, NGC 1385, through Webb's and Hubble's eyes. Imagine a galaxy, NGC 1385, seen from a unique perspective where two of humanity's most advanced space telescopes, the James Webb Space Telescope, Webb, and the Hubble Space Telescope, offer contrasting views that come together to tell a more complete story of cosmic wonder. This spiral galaxy, residing 30 million light-years away in the constellation Fornax, becomes a canvas for showcasing the marvels of the universe. The image of NGC 1385 is intriguingly divided. Webb's observations illuminate the top left, revealing the galaxy in shades of orange and red, while Hubble's views light up the bottom right, displaying the galaxy in familiar tones of visible light. This juxtaposition is not just about colors. It's about understanding the galaxy's structure and the life cycle of stars within it. Why do Webb and Hubble see NGC 1385 so differently? The answer lies in the types of light they observe. Webb peers into the cosmos in near and mid-infrared light, allowing it to unveil the hidden secrets of dust clouds that glow warmly, showing off the intricate spiral patterns and the formation processes of stars within them. Hubble, on the other hand, captures the galaxy in visible and ultraviolet light, highlighting areas where starlight is either shining brightly or being absorbed by the cosmic dust. In Webb's infrared eyes, the gas and dust within NGC 1385 stand out distinctly, 
painting a picture of fiery spirals with detailed structures that resemble jagged edges, although they are much more spread out than they appear. These regions, glowing in infrared, are where new stars are beginning to form, hidden from the visible spectrum by dense dust clouds. Hubble's view complements this by showing the galaxy's spiral arms laced with dark lanes of dust, hinting at the obscured star formation happening within. Its images, while similar in resolution to Webb's, offer a contrasting look at the galaxy's structure, emphasizing the darker, dust-filled regions that block the light of newly forming stars. A fascinating feature in Webb's images is the appearance of bright red spikes emanating from the galaxy's core, potentially signaling the presence of an active, supermassive black hole. Not all bright centers in galaxies indicate black holes. Sometimes, they are clusters of vibrant stars. However, these spikes are a clue to the dynamic processes at the heart of NGC 1385. Webb's ability to see through dust reveals regions of older stars with a subtle blue glow indicating high concentrations of these ancient celestial bodies. This infrared vision allows us to peer deeper into the galaxy's core, uncovering stars that are otherwise hidden by dust. In stark contrast, Hubble's view presents the galaxy's center in softer tones, where the glow of older stars blends into the background and the vibrant paths of younger stars weave through the galaxy's arms in hues of blue and purple. Both telescopes also highlight regions of intense star formation, though in different lights. Webb's images capture these nurseries of stars in vivid red and orange, marking them as hotbeds of activity where the raw materials of stars, gas, and dust are coming together. Hubble shows these areas as vibrant clusters of blue, purple, and sometimes red, signifying the energetic processes of starbirth. Beyond the immediate beauty of NGC 1385, both Webb and Hubble capture glimpses of distant galaxies lying far behind, each set of images revealing these background cosmic islands in their own unique light. This dual perspective not only enriches our understanding of NGC 1385, but also opens a window to the broader universe beyond. NGC 1385's exploration is part of the larger physics at high angular resolution in nearby galaxies, FANGS program, which aims to dissect the star formation cycle in unprecedented detail. Through the combined powers of Webb, Hubble, and other telescopes, researchers are peeling back the layers of galaxies like NGC 1385, piecing together the intricate dance of dust, gas, and stars that defines our universe. This journey through the eyes of Webb and Hubble into the heart of NGC 1385 offers more than just a glimpse into a distant galaxy. It reveals the ongoing story of creation and change in the cosmos, inviting us to ponder what other secrets await discovery in the vast expanse of space. Image 3. The Mysteries of Distant Galaxies with the James Webb Space Telescope's Sears Survey For over a century, the quest to understand the cosmos has led astronomers on a journey of discovery, categorizing the myriad galaxies that dot our universe. By closely examining their shapes and using data known as spectra to measure their properties, scientists have sought to unravel the secrets of these celestial bodies. Edwin Hubble, in 1926, laid the groundwork with his Hubble tuning fork, classifying galaxies into spirals and ellipticals based on their appearance. As technology has advanced, so too has our ability to discern the finer details of these galaxies. The James Webb Space Telescope, Webb, with its keen infrared gaze, has brought into view countless distant galaxies, previously hidden from our sight. Its high-resolution images reveal the intricate details of these galaxies, allowing researchers to spot areas of star formation or confirm their absence, enriching our understanding of the cosmos. A recent endeavor led by Viraj Pandya, a NASA Hubble Fellow at Columbia University, delved into the depths of space through Webb's Cosmic Evolution, Early Release Science, Sears, survey. This survey overlaps significantly with the area observed by the Hubble Space Telescope's extended growth strip, 
part of the Cosmic Assembly Near Infrared Deep Extragalactic Legacy Survey, CANDLES, offering a unique opportunity to cross-verify findings from both telescopes. Pandya and his team's rigorous analysis confirmed the consistency between Webb's discoveries and the catalog of galaxies observed by Hubble. This cross-verification not only validated their models, but also provided a clearer picture of galaxies only visible through Webb. By categorizing these galaxies based on shared characteristics, the team uncovered a fascinating variety of shapes dating back to when the universe was just 600 million to 6 billion years old. A significant finding was the prevalence of flat and elongated galaxies, resembling pool noodles or surfboards, which constitute about 50 to 80 percent of the distant galaxies observed. This was a surprising discovery, given the rarity of such shapes in our cosmic neighborhood. Additionally, Webb spotted galaxies that appeared round yet flattened, akin to frisbees, and the least common were those shaped like spheres or volleyballs. Webb's observations also solved a long-standing puzzle posed by Hubble's data, the mystery of distant galaxies appearing as elongated lines. Webb's detailed infrared images confirmed that Hubble had not overlooked anything. Rather, it showed that many more galaxies in the early universe exhibit flat and elongated shapes. This revelation prompts a reevaluation of our assumptions about galaxy formation, challenging the belief that galaxies like the Milky Way started as disks. The question of why galaxies in the early universe possessed such diverse shapes remains open, sparking further research into the evolution of galaxies across cosmic time. This journey through the Sears survey, located in the constellation Butes and covering approximately 4.2 arc minutes across, not only enriches our understanding of the universe's vast expanse, but also highlights the complementary roles of Webb and Hubble in peering into the cosmic depths revealing the ongoing story of galaxy evolution. Image 4. Dance of Light and Shadows in NGC 1300 through the eyes of the James Webb Space Telescope. In the vast theater of the cosmos, Galaxies like NGC 1300 perform an eternal ballet of light and shadows, a performance captured in stunning detail by the James Webb Space Telescope, Webb, and its venerable predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. This particular image of NGC 1300, a barred spiral galaxy, is divided diagonally to showcase two unique perspectives. Webb's infrared observations illuminate the upper left, while Hubble's visible light captures grace the bottom right. This juxtaposition reveals a captivating contrast, a visual symphony of darkness and illumination. But what drives this stark difference in appearance? Webb's view combines near and mid-infrared light, allowing us to see dust as it glows warmly, while Hubble's vision, focusing on visible light, shows us where starlight is veiled by cosmic dust. This contrast provides a deeper understanding of the galaxy's structure and composition. Exploring deeper, the gas and dust within NGC 1300 are revealed in Webb's images as vibrant shades of orange and red, tracing the delicate spiral arms with finer detail and more pronounced edges, yet retaining a certain softness. Hubble's perspective offers a different view, dark brown lanes of dust winding through the spiral arms, concealing the smaller scenes of starbirth. At the galaxy's heart, Webb sometimes catches bright red spikes of light hinting at the presence of an active supermassive black hole or vibrant star clusters in the galaxy's core. These spikes, absent in Hubble's images, shine only when the light is both intense and compact. The stars themselves tell tales of different ages. In Webb's gaze, regions with a blue hue signal clusters of older stars, their light piercing through the dust thanks to Webb's infrared capabilities. Hubble's images, in contrast, paint the galaxy's core in softer, yellower tones, the dust veiling the star's individual lights. Young stars blaze in blue along NGC 1300's spiral arms in Webb's imagery, their youthful energy clearing away their dusty cradles. Hubble's view complements this with vibrant blue and purple hues marking younger stars scattered across the galaxy, with older stars near the center glowing in a gentle yellow. 
Regions of star formation stand out in Webb's images as bright red and orange knots, particularly along the outer spiral arms, highlighting the role of gas and dust in birthing new stars. Hubble's captures of these regions glow in brilliant blues, purples, and sometimes reds as hot stars ignite the surrounding hydrogen gas. Beyond NGC 1300, Webb's reach extends to distant galaxies lying far behind, their shapes and colors a guide to their distance. Hubble's view also includes these cosmic backdrops, their colors shifting based on their proximity. This barred spiral galaxy, located 69 million light years away in the constellation Eridanus, was observed as part of the FANGS program, which aims to decipher the life cycle of star formation. NGC 1300's portrait, painted with the combined brushes of Webb and Hubble, offers not just a glimpse into the galaxy's physical features, but also into the processes that shape the universe. Through the lens of the James Webb Space Telescope, NGC 1300 unfolds as a testament to the complexity and beauty of the cosmos, inviting us to ponder how light and matter intertwine to create the stunning tapestry of the night sky. This exploration of NGC 1300 enriches our cosmic understanding, drawing back the veil on the galaxy's secrets and reminding us of the ever-evolving nature of the universe. Image number five. Dance of Light in NGC, 7496, a tale of two telescopes. In the celestial ballet of the universe, galaxies like NGC, 7496, twirl and spin, showcasing their splendor to the watchful eyes of our most advanced observatories. This particular galaxy, a barred spiral beauty nestled within the constellation Grus, lies approximately 24 million light years from Earth. Its portrait, captured in a unique composite image, reveals the contrasting perspectives of the James Webb Space Telescope, Webb, and the Hubble Space Telescope. In this image, Webb's infrared vision illuminates the bottom right, while Hubble's view in visible and ultraviolet light adorns the top left. But why do these two views present such a dramatic difference in appearance? The answer lies in the type of light each telescope observes. Webb's instruments are tuned to detect near and mid-infrared light, which allows us to see the glow of dust particles that have absorbed ultraviolet and visible light, only to release it as infrared. Hubble, on the other hand, captures the galaxy in visible and ultraviolet light, highlighting areas where the cosmic dust has obscured the starlight, creating dark silhouettes against a stellar backdrop. NGC 7496 presents itself as a grand barred spiral galaxy, a cosmic whirlpool with a distinctive bar-shaped structure at its core, around which spiral arms gracefully extend. This structure is not just visually striking, but also plays a critical role in the galaxy's evolution, channeling gas towards the center and potentially feeding the supermassive black hole residing there. In Webb's infrared gaze, the dust lanes within NGC 7496 glow, revealing intricate patterns and structures hidden from Hubble's view. This infrared perspective allows us to peek through the cosmic dust, uncovering areas of active star formation and the distribution of older stars within the galaxy. Meanwhile, Hubble's images, with their emphasis on visible light, accentuate the contrast between the bright young stars and the dark lanes of dust that weave through the galaxy's arms. The comparison of these two views not only highlights the different aspects of NGC 7496, but also illustrates the complementary nature of Webb and Hubble's observations. Together, they provide a more complete picture of the galaxy's composition, structure, and ongoing processes of star birth and evolution. Situated in the southern sky, NGC 7496's barred spiral form is a common type among galaxies, yet each one presents a unique story of cosmic phenomena. As we gaze upon this galaxy from millions of light years away, we are reminded of the vastness of the universe and the ongoing quest to understand the myriad celestial objects within it.
This dual perspective on NGC 7496 enriches our understanding of the universe's complexities, bridging the gap between the invisible and visible, the hidden and revealed. As the James Webb Space Telescope and the Hubble Space Telescope continue their watchful survey of the cosmos, they invite us to ponder the mysteries of the universe, one galaxy at a time, unveiling the intricate dance of light and matter that composes the grand tapestry of the cosmos. Image number six, Mysteries of SN 1987A with the James Webb Space Telescope. In the vast canvas of the night sky, nestled within the constellation Dorado, lies the remnants of a celestial spectacle that once captured the world's attention. SN 1987A. This supernova remnant, located approximately 160,000 light years away from us, marks the site of a star's spectacular demise. Recently, the James Webb Space Telescope, Webb, has provided us with the most compelling evidence yet of a neutron star's presence at the heart of this cosmic event. The images captured by Webb's advanced instruments are nothing short of a revelation. On one side, we see a near-infrared image showcasing the aftermath of the supernova explosion. This is complemented by two additional images highlighting the light from argon in different states of ionization one from singly ionized argon, and another from multiply ionized argon. These observations, made possible by Webb's near-infrared camera, NERCAM, and its spectrographs, reveal a strong signal emanating from the center of the supernova remnant, pointing scientists toward an extraordinary conclusion, the likely existence of a neutron star. But what does this all mean? To understand the significance, let's dive a little deeper. Supernovae, the explosive deaths of stars, are among the most energetic events in the universe. They signify the end of a star's life cycle, leading to the formation of either a black hole or a neutron star. A neutron star is an incredibly dense object, resulting from the collapse of a massive star's core after a supernova explosion. This density is so extreme that a sugar cube-sized amount of neutron star material would weigh as much as all the humans on Earth combined. The discovery of a neutron star within SN 1987A offers a rare glimpse into the aftermath of a supernova and the birth of these enigmatic objects. The signals detected by Webb, specifically from the argon emissions, suggest the presence of high-energy radiation typical of a neutron star. This is because the radiation from the neutron star excites the surrounding gas, causing it to emit light in specific wavelengths, which Webb's instruments are uniquely equipped to detect. SN 1987A itself is a landmark in the study of stellar evolution. Located in our neighboring galaxy, the Large Magellanic Cloud, it was the closest observed supernova since the invention of the telescope providing astronomers with an unprecedented opportunity to study the life cycle of stars in detail. The observations made by Webb build on decades of research, offering new insights into the properties and behavior of neutron stars, as well as the dynamics of supernova remnants. This recent discovery by the James Webb Space Telescope not only deepens our understanding of the cosmos, but also highlights the telescope's role in pushing the boundaries of our knowledge. As we continue to explore the universe with Webb, each new finding helps to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos, piece by piece, illuminating our place in the vast expanse of space. The evidence of a neutron star at the heart of SN 1987A is a testament to the ongoing journey of discovery, reminding us of the wonders that await in the depths of the universe. Image 7, Cosmic Beauty of NGC 3351 through Webb and Hubble. 
In the heart of the constellation, Leo, a majestic barred spiral galaxy named NGC 3351 presents a celestial spectacle approximately 33 million light years away from Earth. This galaxy, captured in a unique composite image, showcases the collaborative might of the James Webb Space Telescope, Webb, and the Hubble Space Telescope. The image is cleverly split, with Webb's infrared insights on the bottom right and Hubble's visible and ultraviolet observations on the top left, revealing a fascinating inverse relationship between darkness and light. But what underlies this striking contrast? Webb's view, rich in near and mid-infrared light, unveils the hidden glow of dust particles, which absorb the shorter wavelengths of ultraviolet and visible light only to re-emit them as infrared. This process brings to light the intricate patterns and structures of dust within NGC 3351, previously obscured in visible light. Hubble's perspective complements this by highlighting the areas where vibrant starlight is veiled by cosmic dust, casting shadows and creating dark patches amidst the galaxy's radiant arms. NGC 3351, with its well-defined barred spiral structure, serves as a cosmic laboratory for astronomers. The central bar, a prominent feature stretching across the galaxy's nucleus, acts as a stellar nursery, guiding gas and dust into the galaxy's core, where it fuels the birth of new stars. This process is beautifully depicted in Webb's images, where the infrared light penetrates the dust clouds, revealing the ongoing star formation hidden from Hubble's gaze. The collaboration between Webb and Hubble in observing NGC 3351 exemplifies how different wavelengths of light can provide complementary views of the same object. While Hubble excels in capturing the galaxy in visible and ultraviolet light, emphasizing the distribution of stars and the silhouettes of dust lanes, Webb's infrared capabilities allow us to peer through the dusty veil, uncovering the warm glow of dust and the secrets of star formation. Situated in the regal constellation of Leo, NGC 3351 is a crown jewel among galaxies, offering a glimpse into the dynamic processes that govern galactic evolution. Its barred spiral form, a common morphology among galaxies, showcases the delicate balance between the forces of gravity and the interstellar medium's properties that sculpt galaxies into their diverse shapes and sizes. The study of NGC 3351 through the lenses of Webb and Hubble not only enriches our understanding of galactic structures and star formation, but also highlights the importance of multi-wavelength astronomy. By combining observations across the electromagnetic spectrum, astronomers can piece together a more complete and nuanced picture of the universe. This breathtaking view of NGC 3351, brought into focus by the James Webb Space Telescope and the Hubble Space Telescope, invites us to ponder the vastness of the cosmos and the intricate beauty of the celestial objects it holds. As we continue to explore the universe with these unparalleled observatories, each discovery adds a new chapter to the ongoing story of cosmic exploration, reminding us of the ever-present wonders waiting to be unveiled in the depths of space. Image 8. The Unseen Turmoil Within IC 3476, a tale of cosmic forces nestled in the constellation Coma Berenices, some 54 million light years from our own planet, lies the dwarf galaxy IC 3476. At first glance, captured in the images by the James Webb Space Telescope, Webb, this galaxy might strike an observer as tranquil, almost serene. Yet, beneath this peaceful facade, IC 3476 is the stage for a cosmic drama of immense energy and activity. This little galaxy is undergoing a process known as ram pressure stripping, which, contrary to its peaceful appearance, is fueling an extraordinary burst of star formation within its bounds. When we hear the term ram, our minds might leap to the technology in our computers, random access memory, ram, which plays a crucial role in our device's performance. 
However, in the vast expanses of space, ram pressure has a completely different context. It refers to the force exerted on an object as it moves through a fluid. In the cosmic scale, galaxies like IC 3476 are these objects, and the fluid is the intergalactic medium. The sparse but significant collection of dust and gas that exists between galaxies, and even more densely, within clusters of galaxies. ROM pressure stripping unfolds when the movement of a galaxy through this cosmic fluid causes it to lose its gas. This loss can severely impact the galaxy's ability to form new stars since gas is a fundamental ingredient in star creation. Interestingly, while RAM pressure stripping often leads to a decrease in star formation, it can have the opposite effect in certain areas of a galaxy. This is precisely the case with IC 3476. The galaxy's outskirts, which face the brunt of this pressure, show little to no new star formation. Conversely, in the deeper reaches of the galaxy, where gas is compressed by this same pressure, star formation is not just continuing, it's thriving, significantly exceeding average rates. This phenomenon within IC 3476 offers a vivid illustration of the dynamic and often counterintuitive nature of cosmic forces. The process of ram pressure stripping highlights the delicate balance between destruction and creation that governs the cosmos. As gas is stripped away on one front, leading to the cessation of star formation, it simultaneously ignites a flurry of new stellar births in another part of the galaxy, showcasing the complex interplay of forces that sculpt the universe. Captured through the lens of the James Webb Space Telescope, IC 3476 serves as a reminder of the universe's hidden complexities. Beyond its calm exterior, the galaxy is a testament to the power and influence of cosmic phenomena like ram pressure stripping. As we continue to explore the cosmos, galaxies such as IC 3476 challenge our understanding and offer new insights into the mechanisms that drive the evolution of galaxies throughout the universe. Through Webb's eyes, we are privy to these unseen dramas, unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos one galaxy at a time. Image 9, the cosmic spectacle of UGC 8091, through the lens of the James Webb Space Telescope. Tucked away in the constellation Virgo, a mere 7 million light years from our blue planet, lies a celestial wonder known as UGC 8091, or more affectionately, GR8. This galaxy might not boast the sprawling spiral arms or the majestic elliptical shape of its larger counterparts, but it holds a charm all its own as a dwarf, irregular galaxy. Unlike the giants of the cosmos, UGC 8091 doesn't conform to a regular shape, presenting instead a whimsical, disorderly appearance that belies the frenetic star-forming activities within. Captured through the combined prowess of the James Webb Space Telescope, Webb, UGC 8091 reveals its secrets in a stunning array of colors that span the spectrum from the mid-ultraviolet to the deep reds of visible light. This image is not just a snapshot in time. It's the culmination of observations spanning from 2021 to 2023, utilizing an impressive array of 12 filters. These filters have teased out the delicate details of this galaxy, from its oldest stars to the fiery red patches that signal areas of intense star birth. What makes these red patches so vibrant and telling? They're the result of hydrogen molecules, excited by the energy of newly formed hot stars, glowing fervently against the cosmic backdrop. These starbursts are indicative of a galaxy vibrant with life, actively churning out stars despite its small size and irregular shape. The diversity of stars within UGC 8091 is truly a cosmic tapestry, with each light representing a chapter in the galaxy's storied history. Dwarf irregular galaxies, like UGC 8091, offer astronomers a unique window into the processes of star formation and galactic evolution. Their lack of structure, while chaotic to the eye, 
provides a less cluttered environment that can help scientists understand how stars come to life in the universe's myriad conditions. Furthermore, being relatively close to our own galaxy, UGC 8091 serves as a cosmic laboratory, allowing researchers to study its composition, dynamics, and star-forming regions in detail. But what drives the formation of stars in such a galaxy? What can UGC 8091 tell us about the life cycles of galaxies across the universe? The observations made by Webb, building on those of its predecessors, inch us closer to answering these profound questions. By peering into galaxies like UGC 8091, we not only deepen our understanding of the cosmos, but also of the forces that shape our own galactic neighborhood. This remarkable image of UGC 8091, a galaxy that might seem insignificant at first glance, underscores the notion that beauty and complexity lie in all corners of the universe waiting to be discovered. Through the eyes of the James Webb Space Telescope, we continue to explore these distant worlds, unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos one galaxy at a time and reminding us of the endless wonders that lie beyond our earthly confines. And that's a wrap on our cosmic journey today. Which galaxy stole the show for you? Was it the serene yet secretly tumultuous IC 3476? Or perhaps the festive lights of UGC 8091 dazzled you more? Drop your starry favorites in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the nebula-shaped icon for more galactic adventures. Until next time, keep your telescopes tuned and your curiosity charged.